What's good, y'all? Now we talking about the Max Protect. Uh, this is what this is what I used to play Max Protect defense. I either use a cover six show two when they're, when they're attacking me in the middle of the field, or if it's somebody who like to run a lot of posts, or somebody. I mainly use this against someone who likes to run a lot of snug tight sets. But if, it, if it's bunch, if anyone running bunch, I recommend using a Mabel defense. Uh, I I'll just go over both real quick. Just recommend using a Mabel defense. Uh, like if somebody's in trips like this, I always just go to Mabel and flip the play. Like whatever the strong side is, that's the side I go to. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this is how this play looks, and I always so I here's what I always do. I always put this guy in a flat or something or a purple, so I can when so I can be able to use it as safety because I'm right now when he's blitzing. I'm the only person in the flat, but once I pit him out, no, what am I doing? Once I pit that guy out there, I mean, you're only rushing three. Yeah, that's why it's max, it's max coverage defense. You can either use it as linebacker, leave him out there, pit him in a hook. And now you got the flats covered. Now you got two people in the middle of the field. When they hike the ball, you can see it's just as long as you make the right reads and use it right, there's not, not, nowhere they can really throw. And hopefully your uh, D-line can get there fast enough. That's why I like the Mabel. Because you don't have to send off for these people, and you have linebackers here. Uh, you can even, if you, uh, you don't ever have to send this guy. If you want to leave this guy here, you can pit this guy in a hook and just play right here. So you don't have to worry about sprinting to the other side of the field. Now you're just using here. You're just watching, watching, waiting, 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 waiting. Hopefully your D-line should get there in time. Like I said, it's just max coverage. Because once you send in the cover three buff, the slant zone two, and everything else, uh, like in this situation, I would probably do something like this. I do that, put him in a purple, and then uh, I can just put this guy in a hook. That's what I would usually do, probably. Because uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just a real nice defense. You only sitting in three, you can't really do much, especially if you just using the field right. And once they start, once you send slant zone two, cover three, buff the buck slant, you keep blitzing. They're gonna block running back, even Mac protect, and then they won't even realize. Oh my God, like this guy isn't, you know what I'm saying? Like this guy isn't even blitzing anyone. Like what the you know what I'm saying? But it's really all up to y'all. But also, what I like to do with this blitz. I like to, uh, what do I like to do? I like to send this guy off the left because usually, uh, when it's verticals, every route is usually coming from right to left. Like, if it's heavy over here, you're going to get dragged, slant, everything coming over here. So, they're going to run a run out to the opposite side. So, I usually, uh, what do I do? I put this guy in a flat this linebacker put that guy in a purple put this guy in a hook and leave that guy blitzing so now like when they hike the ball and like they try to run out the pocket like he, he can't do that you know what i'm saying Cause everybody likes to run to that side of the field because every route's coming over there so that's why i like to do that i'll use the fifth plate i'm like okay i'm just gonna do this and it's that easy literally and now it's set up you know what i'm saying uh so now i got the now i got the purple zone playing the whatchamacall Look at that. Look at look at it. It's just good defense. I don't know how else to explain it. But now we're gonna talk about Rundy out of dollar. Like inside zone against halfback base inside zone. Any type of any type of uh my bad, my controller died, y'all. But any type of any type of inside zone, like I only use this run defense out of uh the big down two three six against like inside zone and base and shotgun formations. Don't use this against heavy sets because it's like is not gonna work like you know what i'm saying like inside zone that's the first thing i'm gonna talk about first thing i do with inside zone if i think if i know for sure to run an inside zone i'm gonna base a line pinch my d line and i'm gonna pit this uh corner in a flat right here damn my controller keep down my bad y'all damn but like i said i'm gonna pit that corner in a flat so i don't have to realize so i don't have to think about I pit him in a flat so I don't have to worry about the flat and I can play the run a lot better. Just, just stick with me, y'all. Stick with me. Like I said, uh, I'm about to show y'all in a minute. Controller keep fucking dying. There we go. Alright, like I said, my bad, y'all. I usually pit him in a flat because usually if, if I leave him blitzing and do the set, if I, if I don't know if they're running inside zone or not, I'll stay like this. And I, I stay like that, and that's what I'll stay like. But, like, say they pass the ball, I can't get to the flat in time. So, I always put this guy in the flat. I'm like, okay, I do my setup. I always bring the safety down right here. You're going to see, like, when they hike the ball, 
you just got an open lane to lay a hit on a uh you can just lay a hit literally lay a hit on a running back force fumbles I do the same setup, and this time I usually don't blitz. Like, if I think, oh, third and one, fourth and one, they might run inside zone. Come in here, blow it up. Can't do nothing about it. It's literally, but, I, but the halfback base will stop it sometimes because they got an extra pulling guard. Uh, But that's, but, but like, to me, like, it's like they're not going to get as much yards as they want. But that's why I like, like, that's why I just really love this defense. But when you think they're running, all you want to do is base a line, pinch a D-line, and then put that guy in a flat or whatever or you don't have to if you don't think they're blitzing but then right like you see i can just go i got a free lane to blow up the inside zone so one more time that's for people who don't believe me like because the inside zone is dead you're gonna force your opponent not to run it no more you can literally just stand here and wait for them uh you're gonna force them to get to the outside but that's why i like to have good people with good people with high block shed like especially like my corners and linebackers, I want to make sure they have high block shit, and you can literally just stand right here and just wait for that hole to open up. Like you see, you just um, make sure you don't hit the wrong hole. Don't be dumb like me. Like I said, uh, it's real easy. You're gonna force them once they once you blow it up one time and just hit them in the back of the backfield. Like you're gonna for, like look at this. Like, they're not doing nothing about it. So once you force them to run the ball, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. I promise y'all. But hey, thanks for watching and. Enjoy.